Good morning, Astro Ponderers. I'm Tess with your weekly meta forecast to bring the poetry of the skies down to the actuality of daily life. This episode is for the week of Monday, December 14th through Sunday, December 20th. What a week we have in store with a solar eclipse and so much more. The new moon Sagittarius solar eclipse kicks off the beginning of the week with a burst of spirited horsepower. For the people in Chile, it will really be a treat, as the full light of the sun will its opposite meet. In the darkness of daylight, the insects will pause their applause. The temperature drops along with thousands of jaws. Parts of Argentina will see this as well, but alas, not here in the northeast of the U.S. But even though en masse our heads won't be up, this event still invites us to get revved up and feel united in a moment when time seems to disengage, silent and in sight of, a brilliant new age. As existentialist writer and philosopher Rollo May said, human freedom involves our capacity to pause, to choose the one response toward which we wish to throw our weight. Saturn, the old sea goat of time and order, is at last committing to its forward journey into Aquarius on Thursday the 17th. Back in late March, Saturn tested these strange Aquarian waters, but retrograded back into Capricorn by the beginning of July. This time he advances without looking back, and to make matters ever the more exciting, he will be joined by our seasonal spirited horse, Jupiter, who will as well move into Aquarius on Saturday the 19th. Saturn will continue in Aquarius until 2023, and Jupiter until the end of next year. By the year 2023, big and powerful Pluto will step into this future as well and be in the sign of man until the year 2043. It could be said quite naturally that the Aquarian age is officially here. Aquarius, the sign of freedom, future, evolution, and awareness. The age of Aquarius is the age in which we become dynamically aware of our own evolution, freedom, and the capacity to pause and choose a worthy response, a great cause for a pause. As Mark Twain said, the right word may be effective, but no word was ever as effective as a rightly timed pause. A worthy response reflects your true values, little bells that ring like wind chimes inside and integrate a strong resonance of self. To become aware of our evolution is to become aware of the truly important values for one and for all. A global wind chime with a resonance so strong, it is sensed in the present as a place we belong. The future lives strong in the open space of a pause. Speaking of open spaces, we are in the last week of Sagittarius, the sign of the horse, whose affinity for open spaces is surpassed by none. The heart of the sun and the mind of Mercury are already gallivanting in the open green, and they will be joined on Tuesday by the gorgeous goddess of love. She charges forth with spirit, inspired by the previous day's new moon eclipse. The goddess of love knows all about the pause, and she might sooner call it a rest. It is her sacred space, her negatively charged grace, like a waterfall under a full moon or the aftermath of a rainy afternoon. She will applause the pause as one of nature's best laws. Mars deep in Aries, standing tall like Michelangelo's the David, demonstrating courage in a most powerful and mature way as he comes into square with Pluto in Capricorn. His power coming from a sense of readiness a mature and powerful readiness to choose the right response to which he throws his weight. Uranus in Taurus, conscious evolution strengthening the all in tandem with strengthening the self. As Teilhard de Chardin wrote, no evolutionary future awaits man except in association with all other men. Neptune in Pisces, imagine all the people living for today. After the phenomenon of Monday's new moon eclipse, she will grow with sturdiness as into Capricorn she slips. Tuesday and Wednesday will be excellent times to reel in your energies and hear those wind chimes. Expect strong breezes on Thursday as she grows in Aquarius, 
the same day that Saturn takes that bold first step into the reality of the water bearer. We bearers of water, holding shapeshifts of responses, with awareness is birthed many new renaissances. Celebrate the coming of a new age today, in the season of the horse, indulge in some full-hearted faith in the future. The weekend welcomes a growing Pisces moon, and the atmosphere takes on a dreamy dimension, just in time for Jupiter's entrance into Aquarius, where optimism meets the reality of future. Mercury will also be conjunct the Sun, integrating the life of the mind with the centrality of the heart. Limitless mind and centering heart, both which operate on the powers of connection. To value these powers is to know our direction. In the wake of this week's new moon solar eclipse, when into obscurity the sun itself dips, and people react with their oohs and ahs, remember the revolution of a well-placed pause. As always, happy astro pondering. To watch a video of today's meta forecast or for contact information, visit me at happyastropondering.com.